and welcome to this special interview for the upcoming Best Day event. I am Martina, the event director, and I'm absolutely honored to have the talented Roxana Lupu with us today. Roxana is an experienced moderator from a Masters in Moderation Agency and a successful actress. She is also a communication coach with experience in business development and sales. And Roxana also has a background with theater, with a PhD in theater pedagogy. So Roxana, thank you for joining us. Hi, Martina. Nice to, to, to be with you here. And thank you for inviting me. I'm honored and grateful to, to be with you and super looking forward to moderating the event and meeting everyone that will be involved. I'm super excited for that. Yes, we are also all super excited. So, Roxana, uh, your professional journey, journey is truly diverse. So you have and you are combining your experience from business development, sales and acting. And mm -hmm. as a moderator, how it is, how do you see these different roles uh, coming together and how do they help you to have so-called helicopter view of an mm -hmm. event and of the audience? Uh, yes, that's a really good question. I think um, I think it's really helpful when you when you have various perspectives. You know, there's a saying when you try to innovate something or invent a startup, it's uh, it's a innovation technique that you bring together four or five individuals that have uh, various expertise and various backgrounds. So an artist, an IT person, um, mathematician, a musician, and <laughs> combining all these, uh, these perspectives gives you a new product. This is the Beatles innovation technique. This is how they actually um, created the song, Let It Be. Obviously, they were all musicians, but they came together in a room and they're like, we're not going to leave here until we get a very interesting product. So I think, you know, combining all these perspectives definitely helped me. And I always um, I always learn new things, definitely. So it's it's very helpful, that's for sure. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. I have a really small experience in theater when I was a child, but uh, mm -hmm. I know how this uh, two years in theater have helped me later in my life. Mm. So you are an accomplished actress and you had the opportunity to to play royal figures like Queen Elizabeth II, Princess Margaret, then uh, Tatiana Romanova and the uh, Queen Mary of Romania. Mm -hmm. So when I heard that, I was, oh my God. <laughs> So, but can you please share how did you personally feel while embodying these historical figures? And do you believe these experiences have influenced your approach as a moderator, mm -hmm. particularly yes. when we are talking about engaging with different and diverse audiences mm -hmm. at the events? Yes, definitely. So it really gave me um, a very interesting outlook on life because they they all, all these royal figures they look at life very simply in um in their so they have a very complex view yet it's translated in a very simple approach. So I think it's all to do with the fact that they know how to get to the essence of things and talk to people from all walks of life, and another. Other thing is like the queens they they had to meet various people from various domains so it's it's the same with this type of event you meet a lot of people from various walks of life and it's just it it with with all this experience from the theater and film what it does is is you approach people in an open non-judgmental and safe creating a safe space a psychological safe space for them um, and i think that's the biggest lesson that i've learned from these royal figures because they can talk to absolutely anyone a, a young child to a prime minister another king and so forth without losing their authenticity and without coming across as fake so i think that's a lesson that i try to 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 apply to my everyday life and this is one of the things that i aim to bring to the event to the best day event 
a sense of authenticity, a sense that everyone is welcome to share their, their opinion, to be approached in an empathic way, and for everyone to feel that they're in a safe space where they can contribute and be themselves. Yes, definitely. That is something what I was just about to ask you, but now you just answer that question as well. But all of that you just mentioned, it seems like a real virtue and you have to have um, really kind of, um, let's say, also the high spirit to be to be able to put that everything on the stage and to do that in a way just like you now uh, described. So, and what are you actually, what do you mean, like, from your perspective as a moderator and someone who has the experience with uh, various roles, what do you believe are the key ingredients that make an event a truly exceptional and leave a lasting impact on participants? I think the audience needs to feel in all events and whenever even when I'm acting or in film they need to feel safe they need to be amused and they need to feel authenticity so these are the three main ingredients that I focus on they feel safe when they feel that you know what you're doing so you have you know who the panelists are who the speakers are where the event is going you direct it in a sort of way and you know what's going on you know the subject you know the you can you can have a sense of you can grasp what is being discussed and amusement in a sense of we all uh, share a laugh because we're together and we're <laughs> celebrating in a way and um, authenticity is when you come with yourself you know you bring your your joy your spontaneity your energy so I think if you have these three things, which sometimes are more easy to do than others, but if you aim for these things, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm sure they will. Um, the event is going to have a lasting effect on them, you know. And at the end of the day, they need to feel like they're there. And we all, I think, need to feel like we're there to celebrate something because we are there to celebrate something. And let's not forget that the pandemic has ended not long ago and we couldn't meet together so i think we all we always need to have that sense of we're together and we're grateful for that it's amazing roxana that you just said that uh, the events are the place where we celebrate something and i also feel like we are celebrating something each year at uh, best day especially this one when um, the event is at the very end of the year and when uh, tourism and uh, hospitality professional will have another challenging season behind themselves so and of course the 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 advent and the christmas time uh will follow very soon mm -hmm. so thank you so much roxana for sharing your experiences and for joining us today and we are extremely looking forward to having you at the best day and to experience everything what you just said that uh, one event um, and the great amazing moderator has to have Oh, thank you so much, Martina. It's been a pleasure and I'm sure it's going to be amazing and I'm sure everyone will come with open hearts and ready to share their stories. And my aim is, my goal is to make everyone feel like we're part of something bigger than us, a big story that we're all participating in. So thank you great, so much. Great. Thank you one more time. And to all our viewers, uh, make sure to visit the Best Day event website for more details and don't miss uh, this uh, event so stay curious stay engaged and we'll see you this autumn at a uh, best day event <laughs>